let's take a look at interpreting linear equations from a table. So first we want to find the y-intercept, which is the y-value when x equals 0. So if x equals 0, the y-intercept would be 30. This represents the number of pictures that she started with. And we know that because it says the number of weeks is zero, so that means she started with 30 pictures at the beginning. Then the slope, remember when we have a table, we have to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And you can pick any two points. So I have 42 minus 30 over one minus zero. So that would be 12 over one, so our slope is going to be 12. And our slope represents pictures per week. So that means she saves 12 pictures per week. Next, write an equation to represent the situation. So I have y equals, our slope is 12, and our y-intercept was 30. Next, we want to use our equation to calculate how many pictures Ainsley will have after putting pictures in her album for 12 weeks. So if we're looking at weeks, that's our x value. So I'm going to replace x with 12 and solve. So that's 144 plus 30 will give me 174. And then next, use your equation to calculate how many weeks it will take for Ansley to have 150 pictures in her albums. So again, pictures is y. So I want to solve for x this time. So I'm going to subtract 30 from both sides, which will leave me with 120 equals 12x. Then we divide by 12, so x equals 10. So just remember, use your table. Calculating slope is the only thing that's different. So looking at slope and y-intercept is a little bit different from a graph. So just remember that slope formula of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1.